I made a Caesar, you're making a Caesar, coming right up on Weekend at the Cottage. Welcome to Weekend at the Cottage. I'm Nick Winojlovich. Today I'm gonna to share a recipe for a salad that I have always loved serving people, just love a homemade Caesar salad. It's way easier to make than I bet you think. I'm gonna show you how. At the end of this video, you'll be able to reference the full story at our website, weekendatthecottage.com. When you're visiting our website, please subscribe to it. Look for this video and tons more on our dedicated YouTube channel. You can subscribe to it as well. And then finally, find us on your favorite social media platforms like Pinterest, The Gram, and Facebook. Seriously, what's not to love about a homemade Caesar salad? We're using a favorite lettuce, we're gonna crisp up some croutons, we're gonna cook off some bacon and then make a dreamy dressing that makes this entire salad a sensational treat. It all begins with us making a dressing. I have the canister of an immersion blender into which I'm adding two oils. The first, a quarter cup of vegetable oil, I love adding just a little bit of olive oil. Two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil will give this dressing a nice flavor. A couple of the usual suspects in this salad forum. How about one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, two chopped cloves of garlic, one tablespoon of capers drained, We're gonna add one egg. If you're nervous, you can leave it out, but come on, look at me. <laughs> I've been making this dressing for years and have never had an issue up to you. There is no vinegar in this dressing. Instead, I'm adding the juice from half a lemon, a splash of Worcester sauce, a few drops of your favorite hot sauce, do a little sprinkle of salt, a tiny bit of freshly ground black pepper, Grab the immersion blender. We're gonna zip this up until it gets nice and creamy. Last ingredient, quantity up to you. I like to add a freshly grated Parmesan cheese, half a cup, three quarters of a cup, one full cup. I'm gonna sprinkle it in and then give this dressing a final zip. It's ready to go. You can transfer it into an attractive container until you're ready to use. You can also make the dressing a couple of days in advance if you're pressed for time. Now, with that fantastic dressing ready, just a couple of things to toss and then enjoy. I'm gonna place two heads of romaine lettuce, washed and chopped. You can also tear your leaves if you'd like. Place them into a large salad bowl. A Caesar salad just has to have bacon. I like cooking off four rashers of extra thick bacon. When it's cool to the touch, we're gonna roughly chop the bacon. You can add that into the bowl, perfect. I cooked off a batch of our crunchy croutons. They go into the bowl. Some more Parmesan, about half a cup. Sprinkle that on top of the lettuce. Now comes the dressing. We're gonna do a drizzle on top. Don't use all the dressing. Uh, this recipe is gonna leave you a little bit of extra dressing so you can have salad tomorrow. <laughs> Take it to work. So we're gonna do a little drizzle of the dressing across the top. And the trick to a Caesar is to lightly toss. Notice I'm not overdressing this salad. I think the trick to a really perfect Caesar is to lightly dress it. Make sure you transfer a little bit of everything onto the plate. There's some bacon, some of those crunchy croutons, a little bit of the Parmesan cheese. Final thing, a little bit of freshly cracked black pepper. And then if you have a little bit more Parmesan kicking around, just sprinkle that on top. Perfect presentation. It's all quite perfect with our homemade Caesar salad. You'll see when you make it. It certainly is fabulous. Well, you don't believe me? A2 Brute, make the salad. Enjoy, come on back and visit again soon. Mmm, good, mmm, beautiful. Go on.